Welcome to the Klein May Realty Showcase. I'm Denise Glover with the Augusta office. If you see one of our properties that you're interested in, please give our office a call. Thank you to our sponsors and enjoy the show. Klein May is a family. It's a group of great agents who get along really well together, who work together as a collective unit. Sure, real estate can be independent, but here at Klein May, we really do rely a lot on each other. We do a lot of training. There's a lot of helping each other and working together for a common goal, and that is the world of real estate. Klein May is very much a service-oriented company. From the different civic organizations that we help, Homes for Heroes, Habitat for Humanity, there's a lot of different things out there. Um, individual agents do various other groups, such as my team, Mountain Valley Homes. We do Augusta Dog Adoptions. We do a charity event every year. We do summer bash. We bring in people for the family at local events and parks just to help sponsorships and just be part of the community. Having the power of Klein May behind me in real estate because of who they are and what the company stands for aligns with my core beliefs of service, not sales, and I just think it goes hand in hand. The technology they have, what's provided for us, access to help and assistance along the way is very important and it has definitely increased my productivity over the years and to be a part of this community. As new agents come in, we get to know them. They get assigned to a veteran agent within the system here and we work with them through their 10 transactions or whatever the case may be, shorter or longer if they need be. I'm available 24 hours a day, seven days a week for these newer agents for help and assistance. And we do have a regimented training program where they come in, they sit down, we cover contracts, we cover community involvement and just many other aspects of real estate. If someone wants to do real estate, I absolutely would suggest they do it because of getting involved in the community, being able to work on your own, having the right support, that's huge in becoming a real estate agent. Klein May is the space where you want to be for the support, the knowledge, and the training. It's top notch.
What if you could take advantage of lower mortgage rates without refinancing? With DuPont Community Credit Union's new Rate Drop Mortgage, you can. DCCU's Rate Drop Mortgage lets you lower your rate every 12 months if rates drop. Just pay a processing fee per rate adjustment. No refinancing or new closing costs required. Enjoy flexible home financing with DCCU's Rate Drop Mortgage. Visit mydccu.com or talk to a mortgage advisor today to get started. Hi, I'm Carl Weisecker, Principal Broker at Klein May Realty. Thank you for joining me for another Q&A with Klein May. Today our topic is preparing your listing for sale and making sure you've selected an agent who has a good game plan. You know, over the past few years, our market has been so competitive, it's an exaggeration, but a lot of people would say you can sell a house just by putting a balloon on your front mailbox and letting people come look. Houses are selling very quickly, often with multiple offers. And so folks were putting maybe a little less time than they had in the past into preparing the house or coming up with a longer term marketing plan because they honestly didn't think they need it. We have a little more inventory now than we did at this point last year. Not a tremendous amount, but the numbers are definitely heading in the right direction. And so houses are staying on the market a little bit longer, a month and a half maybe. And so I think it's very important now for sellers to rethink their mindset and make sure they have selected an agent who's got a really good game plan for marketing who's got a really good strategy for pricing, ask your agent how they came up with the number that they're suggesting you'd list at and what kind of homework and research did they do. Ask them what houses you're competing with and what those are priced at. Your agent should have a good game plan for the marketing and also the preparation. Before you even go on the market, you should talk about staging, which often is not bringing things in, but maybe decluttering a little bit. Often our sellers are folks that are moving because their family's expanding and they're how they need a bigger house. And so in those kind of cases, it can be really helpful to thin out some of the furnishings and the decor. You should also be talking about professional pictures. That should be nearly standard now. Klein May Realty has been doing that for over 10 years, but that should be a given now uh, as part of the marketing package. So all of these things, firms are different, agents are different. I think the market is shifting slightly towards being a little bit more balanced and I think sellers are gonna need to prepare a little bit more with their agent, uh, their pricing strategy, their marketing strategy, their negotiating strategy. I hope that helps. Our coffee today, the same as last episode, is from Crucible Coffee in Stanton. This is another one of their slow pours, the pour over style coffee, and this one's from Ethiopia. That is very good also, but very different. That one I, I would almost describe as being a little bit spicy, but also like the Nicaraguan one, really, really strong without being bitter, which is exactly what I like. If you've got a coffee you'd like me to try here on our show, or if you've got a real estate question for me, please send that to me at questions at climbmade.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
Our first experience was 2004. That's the year when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 20 years. And, uh, you know, I can't think of Harrisonburg, Virginia without your restaurant. And it's just a staple of our community. You've gotten a lot of awards, you know, best in the valley, and I see you proudly displayed those in your lobby. Thank you so much. My family came here during the 1980s, mm -hmm. and they saved up enough money to start the Taste of Time. This is Daisy. So Daisy is a young hound mix who's available for adoption with us. She originally came in as a stray. She has been <laughs> in a foster home a few times. So we do know a little bit about her. She okay. does have some house training under her belt and okay. some basic manners. Okay. She loves other dogs. She's great with other dogs. She is looking for a home without cats <laughs> and she doesn't mind children. As you can see, her nose uh, keeps her busy. She is just very curious <laughs> and loves to explore her surroundings.
we absolutely could not do the work that we do without the help of volunteers. I'm Shannon Moran, I'm the volunteer manager here at the SPCA. And I'm Susan Melendez, I'm a realtor with Klein May and I'm really happy to be here today. And I would like to learn more about your volunteer program. So we actually just reopened our volunteer applications a couple weeks ago and we're looking for all kinds of volunteers to join our team. They can pretty much be involved in every aspect of what we do here in the shelter. So they help working directly with the animals, with the dog team and the cat team. They can help with our medical clinic. They can help with different administrative tasks, events, social media and marketing, pretty much everything. We need a lot of support in all the different areas of what we're doing from volunteers. And the work that they do helps directly impact the outcomes of the animals, especially when they're working directly with the dogs and cats. Um, it helps with socializing, helps with their health and behavior, and makes them more adoptable, helps get them out of the shelter faster. We need help with administrative tasks on all of our teams. Uh, so sometimes that's working directly with clients that are coming in, adopters, taking them back to the different areas of the building, answering questions. We need help with reports and paperwork, posting on social media, getting pictures of the animals, Spanish interpretations, all kinds of things. Can you tell me how a person can sign up or learn to be a volunteer? Yeah, so it's a pretty straightforward process. If you go to our website, there is a volunteering page that you can fill out the application. And then once that's done, there's instructions for signing up for an orientation where the volunteer would come in, um, speak to us, have a tour of the building, talk about all the different opportunities to volunteer, and then we get them set up with training. Everything that we have volunteers helping out with, there is a spot available for volunteers help. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. I appreciate that. We all want to give our kids the best of everything, the best nutrition, the best education, and the best place to grow up. 
even the air they breathe. Lennox strives to provide the best air quality for your family's home, free of indoor air pollutants. At Landis Heating and Air Conditioning, they can install a Lennox customized comfort system in your home. Let Landis sweat the details so you can relax in comfort. Call my friends at Landis Heating and Air Conditioning today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good.
the survivor's lap and the caregiver lap is just so emotional. It just brings everything together and you come full circle as a cancer survivor and having my family and friends here cheering me on. And I think it brings everyone else to see why we do this. It's for those survivors, to have more survivors that can take that victory lap. Whitney, thanks so much for everything you do for us here at Relay for Life and in this area. You are just fantastic to work with. Dee Dee, we really appreciate you as a volunteer and Climate being involved in everything that you all do to help. <laughs> Checks in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> B thanks C. Do you need a cue card? I do need a cue card. <laughs> what? We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you again to our sponsors. We'll see you next week.